the THB 11 Sports Desk, driven by Crane Hyundai of Conway. You know, standing inside Baumwalker Stadium at 1030 last night, it was hard for me to believe actually what I was seeing. The ninth ranked Arkansas Razorbacks losing to the Little Rock Trojans 17 to 7. Now, quite honestly, in reality, it was just one ball game. It's fine. Arkansas is still a contender to reach Omaha and Little Rock is still battling for position in the Sun Belt. Nothing about last night changed any of that. But the loss came at the worst time for the Razorbacks athletic director, Hunter Juracek, the first AD to agree to an in-state rivalry who also just happens to be searching for a new basketball coach right now. So I'm not saying firing Mike Anderson was wrong. I'm not saying it was right. Juracek didn't make that decision on his own. But eight days later, the eyes of Arkansas are squarely upon him. I asked Razorback fans if they were more confident in the coaching search or more worried after Anderson's dismissal. Hog Girl says if he misses this one, he won't be around long enough to miss anymore. Josh didn't have much faith in it before, far less faith now. How about Aaron? Very concerned and not confident at all either. Bring MA back and Tyler simply hashtag more concerned. Eight days later, it appears the search is far from finished. Kelvin Sampson looks like he's going to be staying in Houston and direct tweets from Eric Musselman on the court in Reno, Nevada when he was supposedly in Fayetteville yesterday and today all quiet on the Northwestern front. So look, I understand this is a part of a coaching search in the SEC. Reports surface, rumors fly, a guy with seven Twitter followers can create fake sources for some attention online. But so far this week, Hunter Juracek's program lost to an in-state school by 10 runs and he's yet to find a basketball coach. As I mentioned before, last night's game is just one game in a season. It's fine. The Diamond Hogs, they'll be fine. They're too talented not to be. But if he gets this basketball higher wrong, we could look back on that Tuesday night in Fayetteville as the night he lost the confidence of his fan base. We'll be right back.